Welcome back to ESPR Boxing. Delighted to be joined by Danny and Paul. This is a video talking about the big heavyweight fight not happening on April 1st, happening on April 15th. Joe Joyce versus Zilly Zhang at the Cop Box in London. Danny, Paul, how are you? All good, mate. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, all good, thanks. Nice one, guys. We're just going to be breaking down the fight, getting some predictions, talking about what happens next in this video. We are looking forward to a few um, opinions being swayed about. First question I've got, guys, is... Honest opinions, we're an honest outlet here. How excited are you for this fight? There's some people who are big fans of Joe Joyce, um, some people not not so much. He's obviously got a bit of a reputation of being quite slow, as does Zile Zhang. But yeah, just want your honest opinions on how much you're looking forward to this fight. Paul, I'll go to you first. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Elliot. Um, I am looking forward to this fight on a scale of 1 to 10. I'd say 10 being, I can't contain my excitement. I'll probably... Uh, Six and a half, maybe, probably around that. I think that's fair enough. Um, I think that's fair enough because I mean, it's it, it. I like Joe Joyce. I really like watching Joe Joyce. Um, I think most most boxing fans do because he's always entertaining, no matter who he fights. Um, I think that opponent wise, it's a decent enough opponent. Um, I think although it went down as a loss on Zhang's record last time out, I think he, you know. I think we can all agree that he probably did win, the, win that fight against Hergovic. So opponent-wise, I think it's decent, better than we saw. Um, it's a better level of opponent than Franklin fought Joshua. Um, but I still think Joe Joyce will win and should win. I'd be surprised if he doesn't win. But yeah, I'd say about a 6.5. So 6.5, all right. A very specific answer there. Um, Danny, how about you? Are you higher or lower than a 6.5? I would say I'm higher. I would say I'm in round an eight. I'd say there's, as Paul says, Joe Joyce seldom in a bad fight. Um, and I think Zhang, in a way, is like a perfect dance partner for him as he's just going to come forward and you know, try to land big shots in a similar vein. And whilst I would agree with Paul, I think you would have to make Joyce a fairly clear favourite and I would expect him to win. I think he probably has to be careful because maybe Dubois aside... Maybe even with Dubois, Zhang could be the hardest puncher he's faced. And he fought a very different game plan against Dubois. He was quite conservative. So we obviously, I know Joyce, we talk about him having this indestructible chin. But there's obviously, you know, some sense in his work. And I think Zhang will be dangerous for the first three rounds. And yeah, I don't think there's any way it can't be a good fight. And as Paul says, as like coming off that fight with Parker, you know, he's got that. He's guaranteed a world title shot at some point, if not elevated to a full champion. Could have got away with taking a, a softer touch than Zhang, um, who arguably should be a mandatory challenger himself. So, no, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, Zile Zhang, out of his 24 wins, has 19 KOs. So, a big a big puncher in, in his own right. Um, just in terms of breaking this fight down, guys, Daniel, I'll go back to you. What do you see? What do you kind of see happening here in terms of like, rather than kind of what could happen? Um, what sort of fight are you expecting April fifteenth, and what? Yeah, what, how are you expecting it to go to go down? I would say it'll start with Joyce sort of behind the jab, similar to he did in that Dubois fight. But the one thing about Zhang is, I mean, we saw it against Terry, which he saw it really clearly against Jerry Forrest. He does not have a good gas tank at all, and that's really not a good weakness to have against Joe Joyce, who you know could seemingly go for days and days. So I think I could just see. Joyce starting a bit more conservatively once he feels Zhang starting to wear a bit, step up the pace and you sort of know how it goes from there, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Paul, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I completely concur with Danny. I think we mentioned it off air as well, Elliot. I think, you know, Zhang has three, maybe four rounds for me where he'll need, he'll really need to inflict some damage on Joe Joyce and um, have his best rounds of the fight because after that, I think it's fair to say he'll be he'll be he'll be running on empty, to be honest with you. Um he's an older heavyweight as well. Not that Joyce is desperately young, but comparing the two gas tanks, Joyce does seem like he can just walk through these shots um and have no effect on his stamina mm -hmm. at all. He just seems to be relentless. Uh, this is a word I would kind of use for Joe Joyce. Whereas Zhang probably yeah, you know, it, it probably suits a it probably suits a four or five round fight. Um so yeah, I think what I think will happen, I think Joyce would be stupid to 
go out there and try and blast Zhang out because that's when Zhang's going to be his most dangerous. But I don't think he will be that silly. I think that he'd maybe take the first few rounds conservatively. As Danny says, stick behind the jab before then trying to break Zhang down round by round and hopefully finishing him before, before the end. If Zhang was to win this fight, how would that happen? Paul, I'll give it back to you. Well, would, for me, it would have to be Judging off his past fights, it has to be a stoppage because if this goes the full 12 rounds, um, Joe Joyce isn't going to lose to, to Zhang over 12 rounds unless Zhang has all of a sudden just become got this gas tank from from somewhere because it's all even against Hergovic. That, yeah, I know he lost the fight on points, but like from five rounds onwards, him and Hergovic as well, they were both absolutely cooked. So I don't, I can't see him beating Joyce on points. So it would have to be an early stoppage, but then, well, for, for me, Joyce should be able to take Zhang shots. So do I, I suppose when you ask me that, the way I see Zhang winning the fight is by stoppage, but can I see it happening? No. No. Zhang in that uh, pitch fight reminded me of trying to run a 5K, by the way. That's what it just kind of reminds me of when I, went, when I, when I was watching. Um, Danny, what's do you agree with, with, with Paul? Is the only way Zhang can win this fight, is it by, is it by stoppage? Yeah, more or less, either stoppage or a host of knockdowns, but more than likely uh, an early stoppage. And whilst I would agree with Paul, that does seem unlikely. Um, like you can easily fall into this trap of thinking, you know, fighters, oh, he couldn't be knocked out, his chin's granite and granite like, until it's not. You know what I mean? Like, it does happen, and fighters with better chins than Joe Joyce have been stopped over the years. So whilst it would be surprised, like at heavyweight, you'd be sort of like. You can't rule out a knockout, especially with Zhang, who's a very big puncher, and also a southpaw, which you don't see many like, big punching southpaws. It's, I'd say Zhang's arguably up there with the heaviest punching southpaws in the division. Um, so that could pose a different question to Joyce, and if he does come in a bit reckless and gets caught early, and you know Joyce had a long amateur career and he's already took some big licks as a professional, so at some point that endurance will start to deteriorate, but. I would agree it's very unlikely. I think that Zhang would win the fight on points and I think it would have to be more than likely a knockout if not just a big lead that's built up with like two or three knockdowns early in the fight. Yeah, we'll see. Interest to see how many how many people are backing Zhang come come fight week. Um, moving on swiftly, gents, I know both of you have take part in um, our, our betting tip shows occasionally. Always appreciated. Um, looking at odds at the moment, I'm seeing odds of Zhang that seven to one just to win. Does that sound about right to you? Is that what you would expect? Um, Daniel, I'll, I'll go back to you. Probably about right. It's not a horrendous price. Um, I mean, I don't know if I would necessarily be backing it, but you would have to make him a pretty sizable underdog based on what we've seen. But then you sort of wonder if it was Hergovic against Joyce, and from what I gather, we're all in the agreement that Zhang beat Hergovic. Would Hergovic be seven to one against Joyce? I would imagine not. So from that aspect, I know Styles make fight, and we've talked about how bad Zhang's gas tank appears to be. But from that argument, you could make the case that there's a bit of value there. Whether that's something I'll be backing on the night, I'm not too sure, but it's not a bad price. Oh, I know you know you like to back numbers, Doug. I know you back Carlos Takam at four to one the other week. Um does Zhang to win at seven to one tempt you at all? No. No. <laughs> it doesn't, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't really know what else I can say. I just don't see him. I really just don't see him. Even from a betting angle looking for value, I just can't see any way in which Zhang wins this fight, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, I think we're all all in agreement. I think we all know which way predictions are, are gonna go. Um Couple final couple of points, gents. Um, I want to talk to you about what happens post fight. Um, as things stand, we're filming this in late March. Um, we don't know if Fury is going to happen. I'm going to say it is going to happen. So assume it does happen. Do you think? And assuming that Joe Joyce wins this fight, do you think that a Joe Joyce will fight for the undisputed um, championship later in 2023? Or do you think that's not going to happen and he's going to fight someone else or all the belts are going to go up in the air? What do you think is going to happen? Obviously, this fight's happening April 15th. I imagine Joyce would then look to fight again 
in the final quarter of 2023, October, November, December time. I imagine that we'll see. Um, Paul, what do you think happens next? Um, I suppose it does all depend on the whole Fury Usyk situation. The more likely I'd for, come for me here for Joyce is he wins. He gets himself, you know, he's he's up to near the top of the rankings and all the governing bodies deserves a world title shot. But I think that I'm not as confident maybe as you that the Usyk Fury fight goes ahead. So I, I could see him fighting Usyk because there's there is an angle there. Um. Like there is an angle there with the whole amateur thing, and I could similarly I could also see him fighting Fury because Fury has said in the past about um about you know giving Joyce a challenge and and uh, giving him an opportunity and all of this. So to answer your question, do I see Joyce fighting for the undisputed heavyweight championship, all four belts? No, I don't. But I think by the end of the year he hopefully is fighting for at least one version. We shall see. I think he definitely deserves to fight for a world title. I think he's kind of waited around and beaten up um, top 15 opponents to do so, assuming he does win on April 15th. Um, Danny, what do you, what, what, what are your thoughts on what Paul said there? Yeah, I, I would say something similar. Um, I would think the Fury fight is potentially slightly more likely than the Usyk fight, only because I think the WBO is the last to be called for the cycle of mandatories, I think it was WBA, IBF, and WBO because Yusik was the WBO for AJ, and I think Yusik would look to keep the belts, um, as opposed to like champions can be sort of willy nilly and vacating them once they've got a couple. But I think from what you've read, Yusik will just fight his mandatories if this fight doesn't happen. Um, but in saying that, the obviously the, the Fury fight's an easy fight to make in Queensbury. There is a lot of chat that that could be the fight for Fury on April twenty ninth. So I think and I hope, as I agree with what Paul says again, he definitely deserves a shot. He's a hundred percent like the the number one contender in the division for my money. Um, so I think and I hope he will get a shot. Probably more likely at Fury. Um, hopefully by the end of this year, if not not too late in the next year, because he, as we say, he's what thirty eight now, Joyce. So you'd rather he gets that shot sooner than later. So you can say you've seen like the best version of Joe Joyce get an opportunity. Yeah, definitely has to has has, has to be the, the the year from this year for sure. Um, all right, gents. Final final question. I'm going to ask for an official prediction from both of you at this stage. Um, might push you for more of a concrete answer than you're willing to give me. So we'll see how it goes. Paul, what is your official prediction for Joe Joyce versus Zili Zhang? I'm gonna go with Joe Joyce in rounds. I will go the middle third of the fight, so I'll go rounds. What's that? Five to eight. Mm. Um, is that is that concrete enough, or do you want to be a bit more specific? That's concrete enough. My question for you would be: Say he stops him round seven. Do you think it's going to be a one sided fight in terms of who's winning the rounds, or do you expect Zhang to, to pick up some rounds? Uh, I could see maybe Zhang picking up one or two at the beginning. As we said, all, we're not going to go over all ground with the whole gas tank thing. But I think he is dangerous early. Zhang, so I could maybe see it being close for three or four rounds before Joyce starts to take over and then ultimately finishes the fight. Yeah, we'll see. Danny, what is your what is your official prediction of this one? Yeah, I, I think the same. I think Joyce probably stops some somewhere around six, seven, eight rounds. Um, I think he might have a few sort of hairy moments in the first three rounds. I could see Zhang landing on him. Um, but as we say, we've seen you would have to back Joyce to be able to take those shots power through and then, you know, put his foot in the gas tank and stop him. So I think exact same as ball, middle to late rounds. I think Josh will probably stop him. Cool. We'll, we'll leave things there. Gents, been great to get your thoughts on this one. Might be for some people, might not be for other people, but it's happening and we will be tuning in. Joe Joyce versus Zilly Zhang, April 15th at the Cop Books in London on BT Sports. Thank you both very much for joining me, okay? <laughs>